Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace, and in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on editing videos, and specifically, I wanna to talk to you about music and how music can move your story forward. Now, when I think about editing videos, I think of videos sort of uh, as having three pillars, three structural pillars holding them together. The first is the footage itself. So those are the visuals that show where we are, what's happening, if it's raining outside, B-roll, that kind of stuff. That's the stuff that you see. And then there's the narrative. So that is anytime there's dialogue or a person speaking into the camera like I am right now. And so uh, I, uh, I decided that I'm going to turn around and go back to Russia. And then there's the music. Uh, I, uh, I decided that I'm going to turn around and go back to Russia. The old adage with uh, movie making and filmmaking is show, don't tell. And so if you have a lot of narrative where you're discussing like, hey, I felt this way, this happened, and you're just talking about stuff that happened instead of showing it, well, you should probably be writing a book, not making a video. We really want to show and not tell, but there are times when we do need to tell and that's where music can help us out because you can sort of think of music as the unseen narrator. Music can foreshadow something coming. It can help us transition from one thing that's good to one thing that's maybe foreboding or scary. We can tell our audience how to feel and we can move the story along and we can really compress our timeline by cutting out some of that narrative that's unnecessary and substituting it with the unseen narrator, which is music. So I'm gonna get into all of that. I wanna show you on a timeline in Premiere Pro how I've done that in some of my past videos and give you some of the strategy and philosophy that I use in doing that. But before we do that, we need good music. And if you're like me, I love watching movies with fantastic scores like The Thin Red Line, Hans Zimmer, or Vangelis, or John Barry, or Thomas Newman, uh, Jonesy. You know, these are guys that make fantastic scores and so for me, a lot of times I'll listen to that music as I'm editing video. And then when I zip over and try to get some uh, royalty free or stock music, I'm so disappointed because I'm used to music that's phenomenal and I'm getting that YouTube music license, which is sometimes not so great. And so fortunately, a few months ago, I discovered Audio Socket and it has about 80, well, more than 80,000 tracks of fantastic music that's actually used in the film industry. And so I wanna show you how I find music out of that 80,000 uh, track library and how I can do it very, very quickly. So over here in Audio Socket, we can browse music normally. So we can just go in and maybe say, you know, I want something that's uh, chill. So I can say this mood, I want chill. Audio Socket's gonna uh, sort this for me. And so I can just listen to this yeah, okay, that's very chill. I can even go through in this waveform and see what this sounds like in the middle of the song. Okay, very chill. Okay, so we're all familiar with those kinds of search tools, but uh, even using those kinds of tools, it can really take a long time to dig through and find exactly what you're looking for. Fortunately, uh, AudioSocket just released something brand new and it's called Similarity Search and it's artificial intelligence where you can say, hey, I've got this song, I want something that's similar to it, find that in the library. So I wanna show you that right now. So I've got uh, this old song that I've used to death and so I need to replace it. It's called uh, No Skateboarding. It's got this little beginning and then it dives into some funk. Let me just play a little bit of that. So here's that little beginning. It moves just right along and then we get into the funk. It's coming up here. This is great for, well, I'll show you. All right, there's the groovy old fashioned funk. So I like that, but I just want something more modern, a little bit uh, better. So what I can do is over here in Audio Socket, I can either search by a YouTube link. So if there's a YouTube or a song that you know, you can just drop that in there or you can upload. So I'm gonna go over here, click this button right here, and then I will drag this track right over here. 
And once I do that, I'm going to say upload and search. All right, and the similarity search is finished. And now I can go through here and look for exactly uh, what I want. Now I can already look at this and see the genre to know if that's gonna work for me or not. And even the waveform to see if it's got that little beginning and then a bam, which is what I want. I want something that leads in and then the funk. And so we can sort of look at these here. You can see here's one, the second one, it's got this intro and then something. So let's listen to that. So it's a very, very slow intro. Okay, so that's really not fast enough for me. Say it again, it's gonna start right off the bat. Let's look at Wanted. So it's got that guitar. Okay, but it's a little too uh, shrill for me. Here's Roadhog. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Does it bring the funk? Yeah, it does. It brings the funk. Okay, so we found the song just like that, Roadhog. It's the updated a new version. And the cool thing is there are, it looks like six different versions of this. So we've got a loop, we've got a 30 second thing, we've got the underscore. You can listen to all those things. So I like this. So what I can do is I can just mark that as a favorite there. I can throw it in my cart and download it if I want. Um, I can download it right now if I want to just put it in my timeline and use it. So that's really, really cool. Let's do one more. I want to uh, see if we can find some other music. And another thing I want to show you that I do quite a bit here on Audio Socket. So I'm going to do the, a second song. It's called Gallery Along. Let's give a listen to that. So again, a funny beginning. Then it's going to hit. Okay, again, a song I've used to death in a lot of my old videos. So let's upload and search that. Okay, again, remember on this song, we have that So we have this sort of beginning, which is great when you're doing educational videos like I make. So it sort of leads out of me talking and then into the And so I can show me shooting in the studio or doing whatever it is and overcut that with some uh, stills and all kinds of stuff. So that's what I'm looking for. I want that slow lead in and then the kind of stuff. And so there's a ton of stuff here and you can see again all these different genres that we have and so just zipping down here um, you can see I don't know we've got a ton of them. I can look at these waveforms and see that a lot of these are just going to start right off the bat with something so let me just click on this guy. Yeah it just starts right in. So it's cool but that's not really what I'm looking for. Let's try this and be cool. Yeah, exactly it. It's got the lead in, it's got the boom, it's got the funk. It's what I want. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna mark that also as a favorite. The other thing you can do here is Jonathan Still is the artist. I'm gonna click on Jonathan Still here just to see what other stuff he has. And holy smokes, he has 178 tracks. And based on what I heard, I'm gonna just go through here and listen to some of his other work. I'm liking that. He's got a lot of film and TV stuff. That's really cool. And so the nice thing is here, oh, here's a pop song. Let's just uh, take a listen to this. I like instrumental stuff. So let's look at the instrumental version. Yeah. Now this is something, yeah, this is definitely something I could use for a road video, zipping around the mountains on the motorcycle. I think this is gonna work. Let me just hear the middle of that song. Perfect, this is perfect. And this is what I love about searching this way. You can find somebody you like and see everything they do and then get that. Okay, so that's how I find my music and uh, add that to my library, I'm just downloading. You can download WAVE or, or MP3 files, whatever you want. So now let's talk about using that music in an actual project 
um, in practical terms. So how do you move the story forward? Again, remember, there's three pillars, I believe, three pillars to editing a video. There's the visual, what you see, that sets the scene, that shows us what's happening. There's the narrative, that's me talking or dialogue or anybody uh, talking back and forth. And then the music. We're going to talk about how the music is the unseen narrator. And I want to show you some real life examples. And so I've got two loaded in here into Adobe Premiere. The first one I want to show you is just a very, very basic music edit that takes us from one night into the next day. It's a transition piece. Okay. So uh, I'm going to load in this music here and there it is. I think we're starting about right here. So I've cut off the very first part of this audio and you can listen to this track, how it brings it in. Okay. So it's a very slow crescendo that comes in and you can see that down here on the timeline. Then over here, you can see on the waveform, there's a dip. All right. So we can even see that up here in the waveform, this dip. So listen to this. So it dips and then bam. Okay. Let me show you how I've used that crescendo, the music, the dip, the bam to move the story along. Crescendo, the dip, the bam. Okay. These are very technical terms. So we're going to go in here. I've created my own workspace called audio demo. So we can really bring up this waveform to see it. All right. So this is, let me set up the story here. This is me with my friend Eileen Martinez. We've just gone through a long day. We're eating some nasty road food and I need to transition the story from this, uh, this situation. We had no narrative to bring us into the next day. So I've got to somehow bring us out of this night of eating nasty food into us riding down the road on our motorcycles. And so watch the audio waveform and listen and see how this all fits together. I'll let you listen to it now. Okay. The crescendo brings us from the night. It lets Eileen zip around me on her motorcycle. It says we're on the road. The dip gives us that visual of we're in Colombia here, the mountains, and then the bam brings us into we're on our bikes. And then notice that those bike transitions happen on the beat and we're going. So that's a very, very, very basic use of music to move the story forward. Let me show you a more advanced um, example of this. So I've got this other project in here. This is a project that I did uh, when, again, Eileen, my uh, writing friend, and I rode through Patagonia. And we had uh, a moment in our experience where because it was so windy and things were chaotic, we didn't have narrative to tell the story. We had some visuals, we had no narrative. And so what I did was I used the music again to be the unseen narrator. And so we go from this really wonderful experience where we are out, there are all these uh, camel animals, I can't remember the name of the camel animals, and uh, I'll bring this up. So we're walking through this. It's just this really wonderful experience. And then in the span of just a couple of minutes, we had disaster. Eileen's bike broke down and we got stranded in the middle of the Andes Mountains and we needed to be rescued. So if we look at this timeline, you can see on, the, on this first part here where everything is good, we have a very basic audio track. It's just showing us uh, these animals. You can listen to that. It's very uplifting, wonderful. It's going along just great. Okay. So we need to come out of that transition and then go into disaster. And so you can see here, I have ducked this music. So these are, uh, this line here is the volume. So I've taken it down so you can hear the narrative. So we have visual, we have the unseen, unseen narrator, uh, narrator, the music. Then we have the narrative 
Then we have some more narrative, some more narrative, and then suddenly we have the music that's going to bring us from happy to very, very sad. And we're going to walk through this journey as Eileen realizes her trip is over. We experience that through the music. So let me walk you through each of these sections, and then I've linked to this video in the description below so you can see the whole thing all in context, but um, let's just hear this so you can see each section one by one. So here we are, happy-go-lucky. We're at the border of Argentina and outside. It is so windy, you can't really see here, but Okay, so we've come out of that. I've mentioned that it's windy, things are changing. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna show, here's a visual of the wind. Listen to the music, how we transition from everything's happy to something is happening that's not so good. And you can hear the tone change dramatically. This all happens with the music. Everything was perfect when suddenly my motorcycle turned off. I was very worried because we couldn't pass the night in the middle of the windy road. I thought this must be an electrical problem. Could it be a problem with the battery? We would have to ask for help. Okay, so that music is giving us that foreboding. The music changes, you can see here in the waveform how we have a change in this song where it goes from foreboding to somebody's coming. We would have to ask for help. Okay, that transitions us into that. Then I needed a different song to keep us moving along in the story. So you can see one song fades out, another fades in. And then we're just gonna fast forward over there to that. You can see I've done a lot of manipulation of the volume on this, and that's to allow Eileen to experience the sounds of her motorcycle being dead. She knows it's not gonna work. So let me just zip right over to this moment when she is discovering things are not gonna work out. So listen to how the music propels the story forward. Luckily, there's a police station here in the middle of nowhere and they were able to get us back to this little town and there's some mechanics here that maybe are gonna be able to fix things. I think my trip ends here, unfortunately. How sad. I'm very sad. I can't accompany Mark to the Chalten. The motorcycle is not in good conditions. I must go back. I'm really very sad at this moment. All right, I also notice how I use silence as a segue. So she's very sad, we fade to black, and then we just let that sink in. Audio, music is the unspoken narrator, the third pillar of storytelling. Well, I hope this gave you some, uh, some insight into the way that I think about music and try to edit the videos. I think a good way to understand how all of this is working is take a look at the links to the videos in the description of this video. It's the Patagonia, Patagonia Adventure and also uh, a new vlog that uh, I've just started traveling through Colombia and they use music extensively to help tell stories. It's a little bit different than the tutorials and things that I've done in the past on Adorama TV and on Digital Photography one-on-one. -on -one. It's a lot more heavily narrated by the music. So check that out and see if you can identify those points where the music is transitioning, it's bringing us up, it's telling us to be happy or sad. And then I think uh, listening 
to that and listening to how the narration works and the narrative and how the visuals all fit together, you'll have a better understanding of how music can help you tell a better story. Well, thanks for joining me for this episode. If you want to know more tips and tricks about editing or maybe some of the gear that we're using along the road, traveling through Columbia, or if you have questions about any of that kind of stuff, if you'd like to see more of these, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Um, I'm happy to come back to this and maybe do a little bit more practical work on Adobe Premiere or how uh, I use uh, the editing tools in the Creative Cloud, whatever. Just let me know in the comments below and also subscribe, turn on the bell to get notifications. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.